You need to get rid of those. Your feet probably stink now. Yeah, probably from those. Are you? Not. Who is there? Interrupting cow. <laughs> Knock knock. Who's there? The interrupting cow. What? No! <laughs> if you could take your brain out and like shower it, shower it. Wash your brain for one time. Are you washing it with warm water or cold water? <laughs> that made no sense. That made no sense. Why? Just why? why? Just why? Oh, believes that she can solve world debt with gift cards. <laughs> I can. I will solve the world debt with gift cards. My name is Lillian Hicks and I approve this message. Comment, comment your answer in the bottom and subscribe to the channel. Anything to say, kind sir? Man, you already know we back in the lab. If you ain't subscribed to Naj, go subscribe now. It's honestly been a really weird day. There have been downs and behind the scenes, ups in front of me. A lot of people today have been telling me that I've inspired them, I've motivated them. Uh, they keep telling me to do what I'm doing. Um, a lot of interesting feedback from new people that I've met, a lot of different friends that I've made. Um, I appreciate all of you for sure. The different, um, I've missed a lot of the conclusions in the end of the videos. So um, before I actually head out of this lab, I'm here with Zay right now. I'm gonna speak to you a little bit. Something that I get a lot, a lot of people always tell me that I'm very nice, I'm kind, I'm generous, you know, all these different nice things. But I wasn't one, like I always say, I wasn't always like this. It definitely took time to become this way and there are definitely reasons why and these are all of them ephesians 4 32 be kind and passionate to one another forgiving each other just as christ god forgave you being kind is free we all know that by now forgiving people is definitely hard on um, people that have hurt you people that have done wrong against you you got to forgive them honestly christ forgave us for our sins so we should forgive other people Luke 6:31. Do to others as you would have them do to you. Treat people how you want to be treated. It is simple as that. Treat people how you want to be treated. We all know how evil, corrupt, cold, and mean this world is. And honestly, if you want it to be any better, it starts with us. It starts with you. Day by day, be kind to somebody. Respect is earned, and it's not really taken. A lot of people want to take respect and have other people respect them. But if you don't respect people, you can't really expect it back. Philippians 2 3 do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit in humility value others above yourselves Don't be selfish life is hard for everybody Everybody's going through something and if you can help somebody you may as well do it just like Ephesians 4 32 and Luke 6 31 your life's probably hard so you can help somebody out because I'm pretty sure You would like other people helping you too 1 Corinthians 16, 14. Let all that you do be done in love. Sometimes I struggle with this, honestly. I have a long talks with uh, my roommate, Jared Kaufman, the guy that we all saw yesterday, the most wholesome guy that you probably ever meet. In the world that we live in today, a lot of people get offended by things that you might tell them. And there are ways that you can tell people uncomfortable things that may offend them, even though it's true. There are certain ways you can tell people things that are very uncomfortable to talk about but you can do it in love. Basically, you can watch what you say. How you say things matters. We all know that words hurt, but there are nicer and more loving ways to say something to anybody. There are reasons behind that. Don't, don't do it out of hate. Obviously, that's not gonna make the world a better place. I've been talking about a documentary about myself for the longest time, and there honestly is a lot to unpack. One, about my past. Two, about things that have happened to me that have definitely impacted my character to explain how I get to how I am today. But I always feel as if people aren't gonna listen as closely as I really want them to, to understand what impacted my life that I would like them to let impact their life as well. First Thessalonians 5.11, therefore encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. So easy, easy as it. A compliment, a simple compliment. Being kind, being nice, treat each other how you want to be treated. It all falls in the same same line, it's easy. Build each other up. Sometimes all that you really need is a good friend. A friend that is close, like a brother and a sister, that can easily be there for you, listen to you, help you, and build you up. Your environment is definitely important, so you gotta make sure that you keep people around you that will build you up, be kind to you, tell you things out of love, even if it may hurt you, but it's honest. Not even a coincidence. And of course, James 1.19. My dear brothers and sisters, 
Hmm. Take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. This is going to sound funny, but again, on the documentary, I used to be really angry. I was an angry person because of things that were said to me, things that were done to me, but it was really hard to think clearly. I couldn't really retain good things that were said to me because I was so focused on being angry. There's reasons why God tells us to be slow to anger. Proverbs 29, 11. Fools give full vent into their rage, but the wise bring calm in the end. That's crazy. I handpicked these scriptures and somehow they all connect. God is good, bro. That's some scripture for you. Hopefully that um, as these vlogs move along, you can learn more about me. You can learn more about the Bible. Honestly, I'm gonna keep trying to give scriptures every single day. It's a lot for me. I'm doing these vlogs, I'm working at the same time, I'm doing side gigs and all that stuff, I'm traveling, I'm doing a lot, but I'm trying to inspire and change lives at the same time. God is good, I hope y'all are great. Have a good night.